Your Excellency, a report from the O-9. They have located the target in Lorica and activated number three. We estimate it to be under our full control by 1100 tomorrow morning. So, it's finally come. Inform Kunmi we will no longer be requiring her inferior services. Pyromans 842RG The Militesi Empire excavated the Black Tortoise Crystal from the ruins of Lorica and placed it under military control. All Lorican Alliance territories were now occupied by the Militesi Empire, coming under complete control of the Imperial forces. This news spread quickly to the far reaches of Oriens, sending shockwaves throughout all of Rubrum and the Kingdom of Concordia.
Hey, we meet again. Were you able to see your brother today? Yeah. You don't look very happy, though. Did you get in a fight? <laughs> You're sharp. I thought you two were really close. Siblings are usually nothing but a nuisance. We'll get angry at each other and sometimes even want to hit each other. That's... not what you were saying the last time we met. Sure it is. Remember? I said the bond between brothers is awkward. I see. Well, I suppose getting into fights at your age can be awkward. I'm a low-ranking foot soldier. He's an elite cadet. We'll have our disagreements. Are you jealous of him? No. It's more like I feel sorry for myself. I want to accomplish more in my career. So I can tell my brother, I'm proud of you and everything you've accomplished. But you can be proud of your big brother as well. We're going out on a mission soon. Hmm? If I asked you to, would you lend us a hand? What are you talking about? But you're an elite cadet. Only the best of the best in the military can work with you. Putting a nobody like me on a mission with you is out of the question. What if it weren't? Would you fight at our side? What? Are you offering me charity? No, nothing like that. It's just that it's my first mission, and I'd like to work with someone I know. Whether it's with you, or anyone else, I'll fight for the Dominion. And for my brother's future. As long as I breathe air. I see. Patch things up with your brother. These days, you never know how much time you have. I know. But it's not that simple. I have my pride. That's what it's like to be brothers. Huh? You shouldn't sleep out here. You'll catch cold. Were you having a dream of some sort? A dream? Yes. I couldn't make anything out. But you were talking in your sleep. I can't remember. I see. Well, essentially, when we speak of dreams, we're actually referring to the synchronization of brainwaves and shout. Oh, before I forget, Ace, Rem was looking for you. Let's go find her. What? <sighs> huh?
Wow. What a big dude. Sink. You know that it's not polite to make comments on people's physical attributes out loud. What? But I remember Sice once told me, anyone can see that you're flaky. What? Well, the bond between those in Class Zero is special, and essentially what that means is... I don't mind at all. Whoa! You hurt me? I'm sorry. I'm not angry. Even so, there's no excuse for saying what we said. Please forgive our rudeness. Your apology is accepted. I am Reed. I'm Sink. This is Trey. Nice to meet you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Lorican blood runs through my veins. That is the reason I am such a big dude. Lorica? Wait, didn't Lorica... Yes. It has fallen to the Empire. Militas must pay for what it has done. Let us work together to avenge your homeland. I'm sorry, but I have no interest in vengeance. I fight to stop the bloodshed, and for the future of those I care about. That is all. Wow, this guy's kinda cool. Yes. He has strong convictions. Hmm. According to my theory, this should be right. Maybe I need more samples. <laughs> Would you not sneak up on me like that? That's Class Zero for you. I'm Kazusa. I guess you could say I'm a researcher with the Armory Guild. Pleased to meet you. Oh, right. I've been wanting to talk to you Class Zero kids. Would you come with me? I know you're busy. So just stop by when you have time. I'd love to see any member of Class Zero. So please tell your classmates. I've been waiting. And this is my secret lab. Well, don't be shy. Go on in. Oh, come on. Don't be so mad. You know me. I had to know more. The drug isn't as strong as what I used on you. The kid'll be fine. All right. I'm sorry. Look! It's wearing off! The kid's waking up now! Everything's fine! Hey! Cross a <sighs> We could have all gone together. That cross me. Such a shy boy. Hmm. Looks like the drug hasn't worn off entirely. Oh well. I guess I'll have to carry you. I've been waiting. When it comes to muscle volume, male bodies are by far the most interesting. Maybe I should consider collecting a larger number of male samples for my studies.
An Imperial military parade? That insignia. That must be the Imperial Marshal Sid Alstein. Our Empire recently delivered a crippling blow to Rubrum and completely vanquished the Lorican Alliance. These are but the first steps to an even greater goal. We can no longer cling to the old order with its outdated customs if we ever hope to achieve true progress. Going forward without fear of change is what makes a true citizen of Militess. Countrymen, take up your arms and open the path to a new order. We, the Militesi Empire, will become Agito, the hand that guides Orients. Huh. Barking like the dogs they are. He must be using the name of Agito to claim dominance over Orients. The doctor's pets. Good work. At ease. I see you're all here. Then I'll begin. First, I want you to look at this. That's... Yes. You're looking at the mobile aircraft you engaged during the counter-offensive. Intelligence confirms that Militas used that battle to test the machine's anti-magic shield. So, you're saying it's a prototype? Yes. And that means that the Magitek armor, carrying the Crystal Jammer during the course of their initial invasion, was a prototype as well. Crystal Jammer. Air mobility. Anti-magic shields. All of these capabilities pose grave threats to the Dominion. Products of Militess Research Facility Number 4. Codenamed the Steelworks. Reports say the facility's resource flow is at ten times its normal rate, and that they are creating more weapon prototypes as we speak. This cannot go unchecked. Of all the factories in Militess, only one can handle such large scale manufacturing the factory located next to the White Peristilium. Your mission is to infiltrate the factory and destroy the prototypes. The White Peristilium? Rubrum's invading the Imperial capital? No. This isn't a full-scale invasion. This infiltration and sabotage mission will be carried out solely by Class Zero. Huh? Hey, you serious? Right into the heart of the beast. An intelligence officer will get you inside. You are to focus solely on destroying the prototypes. Any possible future invasion depends on the success or failure of this mission. You are to do whatever it takes to see that success 
is the only outcome. Right. right. You will be infiltrating the enemy capital. Once this mission begins, it won't be easy to return to Rubrum. If there's anything you need to do, do it now. Dismissed. We're on our way. Let's go! Hang in there. Good luck to you. We're counting on you. Good luck. I'm rooting for you! <laughs> 